RTC TV's Video Spotlight. We are just down the road at Ancilla College. We will be talking to multiple faculty, staff members, also some students, and getting a tour through the college and taking a look inside some of the classrooms. We will be getting a tour of the entire campus and seeing what goes on at Ancilla College. Let's take a look. We're small but mighty, and I always say we're second to none. And I tell every single student, we are not here to get you out of the program. We are here to help you to get through the program. The uh, faculty, staff, the sisters that work here and live here in the grounds, uh, they were just incredibly nice and, and obviously uh, cared about students. I think it's personal. I, I think uh, I get to know each one of my students, their first names. I try to call them by their first name at least once a day. And uh, it's interactive. You know, they get up and they do PowerPoints and we have discussions and debates about current topics. So I, I think it's very relevant to the world we live in. So students aren't just another number at and so they're, they're a friend, they're a face you see, they're a name you know. Right, I've been to some big schools, sat in some big classrooms. Uh, it's not personal at all. Here you get a chance to get to know the kids and, and you know, I have several of them call me on occasions wanting a reference or for a job or some advice on something. Uh, that happens quite often. I chose Ancilla because I love the chapel and since I'm Catholic, I chose to be here because of that and I love going to church and it's part of my religion so that's the main reason I, I love Ancilla. And part of it was because of the small classes, more attention, so that's more like why I love Ancilla. And you're going to be playing soccer here, is that correct? Yes. Yep, my first year, this is the first women's soccer program, so I'm, I'm excited to be part of it this year. We're very student friendly here, very nurturing. It's a good place to go if you don't have a, a, you know, the college culture in your family history. It's a good place to start. Uh, we're fully accredited, it's a fine school. I teach the same way here. I taught at Ball State before I mm -hmm. came north. Uh, I, I just think, uh, again, it, it's a good, safe environment. It's a beautiful campus, very aesthetic. We really do everything we can to help our students. I just really love to see students get it and really you see the light bulb come on and and the smiles after they become a registered nurse had a student in here last week and you could not absolutely not wipe the smile Aww. off of her face That's it was great. it's worth every every dime every penny and every ounce of frustration usually yes. uh, for a while on the students faces until they uh, they actually get it and they move on and they're registered nurses and we are so very proud of them academically Two things that I think are, to me, are really exciting. One is the initiation of, of an agriculture program. And uh, we're going to make it a, a very high quality program, a lot of hands-on experience type uh, situation. We have our own farm here, you know, we're farming almost a thousand acres right here. And um, so we have cattle, we have, you name it, we have orchards, the whole business. We can do a good job with that. The second program that we'll look at is uh, in the culinary field. We have hospitality, we'll tie hospitality and culinary together. That's an exciting area. Both these areas are exciting because at the end of two years, you can do one of two things. There's a lot of jobs. Mm -hmm. For culinary, you're a chef. At the end of two years, okay. you're a chef. And you can go out and be gainfully employed, and or if you want, you can you can then transfer to a four-year program. Same thing for the ag. Uh, we'll have people prepared to go to work in the agriculture field at the end of two years. Some others are going to want to go to Purdue or Michigan State or Ohio State to finish a four-year degree. We'll we'll be taking care of both ends of that. It's personal attention, and that's one of the big things that we have here. Is the teachers care about you. Uh, they worry about where you're at, they struggle with you as, along with you, and so they want to help you make sure that you're successful. All of us feel that way. I would say what attracted me the most was the small class sizes and how much personal attention you get from each and every professor and admissions counselor. They really take the extra time and go the extra mile to really care about you and make sure you are happy here. It's really rewarding to know I've got students that are out there that have been my students are now teachers. So yeah, it's, it's perpetuating itself and so yeah, I feel really good. I'm very proud of that. Even when you walk down the hallway, they all call you by your first name. They make sure you are staying active, making sure you're, um, everything's done on time and they really take the time to know you. They have been the key to my success. 